Have you ever pondered on how plants, the silent beings of our universe, might communicate? It's a captivating concept, isn't it? When we think about communication, we usually picture human interactions filled with words, gestures and expressions. But what about the rest of the universe? What about the silent green beings that share our world? Let's delve into the fascinating idea of photosynthetic communication. This concept revolves around photosynthesis, a process familiar to us all. This is how plants, algae and some bacteria harness light energy typically from the sun, and transform it into chemical energy. But could this process also be a form of communication? Could these silent beings be speaking to us, to each other, through the energy they create? The possibility is both intriguing and beautiful. So photosynthetic communication might be a pathway to understanding the silent whispers of our green friends. Let's take this journey together, shall we? Intriguing, isn't it? the idea that plants could talk through photosynthesis. So, let's dive into this fascinating concept of photosynthetic communication. Imagine a plant bathed in sunlight. It's not just basking and soaking up the rays. It's actually harnessing that light energy to create food in a process we all know as photosynthesis. But what if I told you it's not just about food production? What if in that dance of light and life there's a conversation happening? That's right. Plants could be using light signals to communicate, not just among themselves, but with other organisms as well. This might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but there's a hefty amount of research that suggests this could be a reality. Now let's talk about chlorophyll. It's the pigment that gives plants their lush green hue, but it's not just there for aesthetics. Chlorophyll is the workhorse of photosynthesis. It absorbs light, especially in the blue and red wavelengths, and uses that energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose. But here's where things get interesting. Scientists have proposed that chlorophyll could also function as a medium for communication. How, you ask? Well, it's all about the light. Light, as we know, is energy. When chlorophyll absorbs light, it doesn't just use it for photosynthesis. It also emits light in a process called fluorescence. This light emission could potentially carry information like a Morse code of sorts, but written in the language of light. This is a language we're only just beginning to understand. It's complex, intricate, and incredibly subtle. But unraveling it could open up a whole new understanding of the world around us. So, next time you're out in nature, Take a moment to appreciate the quiet chatter of the green around you. Those whispers in the wind might just be the echoes of a photosynthetic conversation happening right under our noses. Imagine, for a moment, a world where we could listen in on these photosynthetic conversations. Now, let's consider the implications of this form of communication on a universal scale. Imagine for a moment that we're not alone in the universe not in the sense of extraterrestrial life forms as we know them, but rather in the existence of life forms that communicate through photosynthesis. It's a concept that's as fascinating as it is foreign to our current understanding. By decoding photosynthetic communication, we might just revolutionize our comprehension of life as we know it. It's not just about discovering new life forms that rely on photosynthesis for communication. It's about acknowledging that communication in the universe might not be limited to sound waves or light signals. It might be occurring right under our noses, in every leaf, every blade of grass, every blooming flower. This revelation has the power to unlock a whole new frontier in science. It could lead us to bioengineer plants that communicate specific messages or respond to certain environmental cues. Imagine a world where our gardens could tell us when they need water, or where forests could alert us to changes in climate conditions. Such advancements could drastically change our approach to environmental conservation and agriculture. Moreover, understanding this form of communication could have implications far beyond our planet. If photosynthesis-based communication is possible here on Earth, who's to say it's not occurring elsewhere in the cosmos? 
it might open up entirely new avenues for interstellar communication. Perhaps we could even engineer plants capable of receiving and transmitting messages across the vast expanse of space, connecting us with other life forms in a way we never thought possible. As we delve deeper into this subject, we uncover a world of potential that is both exhilarating and humbling. It reminds us that we have much to learn and that the universe is far more complex and wonderful than we can currently comprehend. As we strive to understand the universe, perhaps the answers lie in the silent whispers of the photosynthetic world around us.